In this lesson, we're going to work on our next animation. So first of all, let's just go to loading file and Ctrl C and Ctrl B to make a copy. So you see that we have the exact same things that we had on the other one. I'm going to delete the second layer and just keep the one that I animated before. Now if I go around uh, 25 pixels, I can just go there and change that to 25 so that's rounded. And let's remove the stopwatch and now that's going to remove the animation. And now we have uh, our shape exactly on the on the size that we need it. I'm going to move it a little bit to the left and then I'm going to go press P on my shape so I now I can see the position. Now if I move these numbers you can see how they uh, actually I'm going to go back to scale so press S and increase the scale. Now I'm going to go back to position and what we're going to do is work around with position on this animation. So I'm going to make a a keyframe on number zero. Now let's go to frame six. Just drag it to the top. I'm, I'm pressing shift so I constrain the movement to only one direction. Now if I go a little bit further, I'm going to actually go to this first keyframe and press Ctrl C to copy. Then go to number eight and paste it by pressing Ctrl B. Now that I have this, you can see how I have this animation of the ball going up, or this little circle actually, going up and then going down. Now I'm going to move a little bit further in time and I'm going to move it just a bit to the top. Ctrl C and Ctrl B in the keyframe. So you can see that it, it go, goes back to the original position, but then it has this little bump, which is making the movement a little bit more natural. I'm going to go to my keys frame assistant and press easy ease to that one on the middle has a little bit more ease and it's not just moving linear. So now I'm going to copy this and pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl B and I'm going to move it to begin right there at the end of my first animation. And if I want to move it, you see that if I just move it around, I am getting that weird curve. And the reason for that is I'm trying to move one keyframe of the position. So if I go and select position or just click on position, I'm going to select all the keyframes and now I'm able to move them around. Now you can see that before frame 10, shape layer number 10 is not appearing. So I'm just going to drag that to the to the beginning and now you can see how it is appearing it's not animating until the point that number two appears so i'm going to make ctrl c and ctrl b to create a new copy and now this third one i'm going to happen make it happen after the second is done so remember select all your keyframes and then just move your position once you have that where you want it extend the layer to the beginning so you can have them and now you can see that I have uh, my my circles going up and down and if I press N to the end of my animation you can see how that is looping now what I can do is select everything all the all the keyframes and if I move them you can see that that's not working because I am selecting different positions on each layer so what I could do is pre-comp them so Making a precom can help, so I'm going to select all of them, right click and find precompose. And if I click on that, a window like this is going to appear. Here you can name your precompose. I'm going to put dots and now I can move that comp around freely without affecting the animation that we just created. So I'm going to move it a little bit there so it's kind of centered. And you can see how they are moving and looping just as I want it. I'm going to go to loading 6 and remember to right click on your work area and go trim comp to work area. Now let's go back to sample, drop the loading 6. Let's go right click time, enable time remapping, find that last keyframe, go one before, add a keyframe, delete the last one, we don't need it, extend it. Now let's add the expression by pressing alt on the stopwatch and now let's just copy and paste the expression from the layer below. So what we can do is just move it around there, select the loading 6 along the 5 and align them. 
on the next lesson we're gonna keep working on our next animations.